How's it going everybody? So I am out here on a Sunday morning. I'm actually not Ubering today. I'm on my way to a bowling tournament and uh, I'm on I-85 going south towards Spartanburg, North Carolina. And you may see this uh, white truck behind me in the rear view mirror a little bit. You might be able to see him. But I just want to rant about this guy a little bit because it's really funny. He, he, was, he was behind me and then he passed me and then he slowed down after he got in front of me again and then I had to pass him back. I don't understand this whole, you know, lead, you know, I don't understand I don't understand the whole passing and the slowing down when you pull in front of somebody thing. You know, I, I'm gonna quote one of my friends, um, and Neil, if you watch this, you'll know where this comes from. Um, but we live in the future now, and in the future, when you're on the interstate, there's this thing called cruise control come standard on most you know modern vehicles watch out construction and on road ahead what it does it allows you to maintain the, the uh, uh, a constant speed so that other people around you can gauge how fast you're going and they can decide if they're going to pass you or ride behind you or whatever but this guy he he literally passes me pulls in front of me and then slows down then I have to pass him back. And then when I passed him, when I was trying, trying to make the pass, he tried to speed up again. Dude, pick a speed. Pick a speed. You don't have to, I mean, if you want, if you want good gas mileage, use your cruise control. Cruise control is there for a reason. It's a tool that we can use. Use your cruise control, people, when you're on the interstate. It helps everybody, including you. It helps you with gas mileage. It helps you with maintaining a constant speed. It helps with the traffic flow. It helps so many things. So use your cruise control. So here's the new rule. Use your cruise control and pick a speed. In 5.6 miles. Exit to exit 70.